What is going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and I am completely pissed off. So I have to wait seven seconds into the video before I can use profanity. However, I think I've made it there. So sincerely, to the government of Canada, fuck yourself. For those of you who don't know, the in charge over the Canadian government decided it'd be a great idea to ban Flipper Zero, not just from marketplaces, from owning as well. It's absolutely completely f up government overreach. Why are they going to ban it? Well, guess what? It turns out they think that Flipper Zero is far too easy of a tool to use to steal cars with. For fuck's sake, it's the same thing as Amazon banning it for being a credit card skimmer. It doesn't do that. It's like these guys know nothing about what they're talking about. And yeah, I apologize. This one's a bit of a rant and kind of an impromptu video. It doesn't have my Martin Scorsese level of normal production values. I've got a bag of laundry over there I haven't put away yet, but I mean, I can't wait. This is really important. First off, let's just hop over to YouTube and take a look at the Canadian government having an absolutely phenomenal press conference talking about this because this is unhinged. All right, so I unfortunately have no idea who this guy is, but here we go. He's uh, talking. To the criminals out there, we're going to destroy your activities with everything we have i think they let me stop you right there first of all how tall is this man i mean i'm not shaming any of you short kings out here but this guy looks he's like i uh, what four foot seven look at the guy behind him he's towering over him again not nothing against short people but like who is this man also he's going on about how he's gonna scare the criminals the criminals aren't scared of the government for God's sakes, nobody gives a shit about you guys. Seriously. You should see us, hopefully, uh, see us, you know, our combined efforts is gonna disrupt their activity. That's clearly uh, what we wanna do. And I think there's three aspects of that. There's about intelligence, there's about technology and coordination. With respect to uh, uh, technology, uh, we have already banned about 300, you know, devices that- This is infuriating. This guy has no clue what he's talking about he's already been 300 devices the dude i don't know if it's a committee i don't know what the fuck is doing but there's no right to ban 300 devices that i guarantee he doesn't know fuck all about that have been used by criminals and that are well known but what we've said this morning and we'll use regulatory powers to do that is basically to ban the import use and sale of the famous flippers, you know? And that's just it, the, the import use and sale, the use, owning these make you a fucking criminal. Like, it's the stupidest fucking thing in the world. People already have these and you're turning normal people who just like technology, like to mess around with stuff. You wanna make them criminals? Like, fuck yourself, fuck you. Like what, did fucking Ricky from Trailer Park Boys all of a sudden get a, a flipper zero and he's out there pressing buttons and then like the TV show makes him look, what, what the fuck? going on seriously what the fuck is going on like seriously they're trying to look like they're tough on crime but they're going after fucking lambda 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 from revenge of the nerds 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 what is a nerd <laughs> <laughs> they are not doing anything towards criminals they're just messing with fucking decent people this shit infuriates me so bad uh, if canadians go on the internet they'll see this is something you can buy on on social platform for about 50 to 100 dollars 50 to 100 dollars like what the fuck? i know there's an exchange rate but like are these canadian tire dollars like what the f 50 to 100 dollars like, it'd be one thing if you inflated the price because they've been scalped so much but like 50 to 100 who's doing your research bro seriously who's doing your fucking research you're banning something in an entire country and you don't even know what it costs like this whole thing is so stupid it's like new york trying to ban 3d printers because you can print gun parts but at least you can print gun parts with a 3d printer flipper zero's not gonna steal a car and that has been one of the tool that has been used by organized crime in order to make life of canadians a uh, very difficult in stealing their vehicles so uh, what we're saying today is that uh, we're we're gonna go first with regulatory power and that is one of the tools that makes life bad for the canadians Fuck you dude organized crime is not using Flipper zeros, you stupid? Like, for God's sakes, organized crime is not using flipper zeros. Like, legitimately, the only person's life you're making easier is like probably the minimum wage Walmart worker or Walgreens worker, for that matter, that has to answer that stupid fucking intercom whenever somebody sets it off. Damn it, you guys are so fucking stupid. Like, again, is it a committee? Who's making these decisions? I just, I cannot fucking understand it. And maybe it's people like me. Maybe I'm partially to blame for this stuff. I don't know. I try to make it look like these things are not dangerous hacking tools, but I do show that they do have some capabilities. I mean, you remember the video where I showed how to steal a car with Flipper Zero, right? Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't make that video because you can't do it. Like, yeah, you can unlock a car under certain circumstances, 
Usually it's a really old car, but there's no way you're gonna be able to uh, like drive the car. You're not gonna, you can't steal a car with a flipper. You just, it's not gonna work. I don't know. I don't even know what the point of this video is. Maybe it's just a bitch about it. Maybe, I don't know. But like, seriously, these fucking up in government making decisions that impact so many people. People like playing with devices like this. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, I guarantee you less than 1% of Flipper users have ever done anything that was remotely as bad as stealing a car. I mean, yeah, we maybe most of us have done things that might have skirted on the lines of illegality, but all of those things fall into the realm of kind of harmless. It's really just the curiosity of it all. It's not malicious. We're not trying to harm anybody with these devices. And maybe a few people are, but it's not what they're for. And yeah, there are so many other devices that are so much more dangerous. I mean, like, I'm not gonna say what you can use that can actually do things, but there are a lot of devices that have a lot more capability than the Flipper Zero. I mean, f the Canadian government's probably gonna watch this and be like, oh, if he names any other tools, we're gonna go ahead and ban them too. F you. All right, sorry for the completely and totally unhinged rant. Um, I just, I felt I needed to say something about it. Sorry for all the censoring and stuff, but I'm trying to keep, you know, from getting demonetized entirely. Uh, if you want to catch the entire video with absolutely no censoring, go hop over to Patreon. Any tier, you'll have access to it. Um, not the best. I'm trying to do better at Patreon. Honestly, guys, everybody who subbed to Patreon, you guys are awesome. I'm trying to do better. I promise. But yeah, thanks for listening to me bitch and moan for forever. But like, if any other country did it, I'd probably make the same video. But it's Canada. There are more sane neighbors to the north. But now you're doing this, it's really got people concerned. Like, for real, if this happens in America, like... I immediately become a felon. Like, what the f bro? Like, how does that even work? I've got an entire year worth of content on what would effectively be an illegal item. Like, I don't even understand. So that's honestly a little scary to me. Thanks, you guys, for watching. You guys are fucking awesome. Uh, I'm glad I had a chance to swear for once. Normally, I try to keep this all PG, but I just, I couldn't for this one. I just couldn't. I love you guys. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>